visiting my grandma's old apartments and I was coming by because it got so many memories. I thought it was going to be shut down and sad, but I mean, it's good if it was because it's generations after generations over here, you know, but it's open. It's like, it's still open, y'all. This is Cedar Glen South. Oh my gosh. So, oh, let me drive in. Okay, this was special to me because there's just so much of my childhood, so many memories in these apartments right here. Although I didn't primarily grow up here, I was always over here with my grandma and my uncle. We'd always come down from Atlanta to Dallas. And then when we moved to Dallas, we were always at my grandma's house. Just so much history over here, so much of my childhood, being a preteen, visiting my grandma and my uncle. Um... It was just my grandma spent a lot of her time in the 90s. She would come out here. She would smoke her cigarette. My grandma wouldn't say, but I love my grandma. I miss her. I had to come visit these apartments because so many memories I have here. And I used to come as a little girl and I would just stand beside her. I'd go back in there. Um, I'm in Cedar Glen South Apartments, y'all. Monty View Road. I had to come visit. I thought they would shut down because they shut them down. They had kicked everybody out. But they done opened them back up, y'all. And it's so many memories here for me. I'm trying to um, flip the camera, but it's not letting me. But they kind of remodeled. This is what my grandma used to say right here. Somebody else is here. And they even bought the tree back, y'all. They bought the tree back. They took that away in the early 2000s. It had a bench around it in the 90s when I was little. And then they had took the tree away and it left like two blue benches. Then they took both of them away. And now they done bought them both back. So that's real interesting for me because they had removed that completely. This is so much history. There's so many memories. I got to let go. So my grandma had moved out here, I think, in the late 80s when my, my uncle was a little boy. And my grandma grew My mother grew up over here as a teenager. She went to Lincoln. Then she went to Gramlin. And she went to Atlanta, had me, you know, went on about her life. So, yeah, there's so many memories. Traveling from Atlanta to Dallas with my mom, coming here Thanksgiving and Christmas. I on I-20, Dallas to Atlanta, and we pull up in Cedar Glen South Apartments. I'd be a little girl, and i run upstairs to my grandma and my uncle. This is their apartment. C24. Now it's new people. They opened it back up. I thought it was going to be bittersweet because I thought it was going to be shut down. But they opened it back up because people need housing. So, yeah. C24, y'all. Cedar Glen South. The colors that they added are actually pretty. I got to show this to my uncle. I sent it to my cousin to show it to my uncle. I cannot believe it. As a little girl, I would play on these little rails, y'all. These are the same rails from when I was a little girl same rails from the from when i was a little girl probably from the 80s look at them look at them used and torn but full of memories i used to flip on these as a little girl everything is the same y'all this tree so many memories that's my grandma old apartment right there so many years the candy lady used to stay right here not in this building right here um on the first floor on the on the um door back there miss Murr. And she used to sell candy at her house. She passed some years back. I wonder, is it any of the same people that used to live? This is, I had to come back. I had to come back because I got so many memories here from a little girl. And then as a preteen, I used to come visit my grandma, my uncle. They don't open it back up. It's bittersweet, child. Cedar Glen South Apartments. My mama grew up over here as a teenager. Like I said, she went to Lincoln, went to Gramlin. It's just my childhood memories and preteen memories just coming visiting my grandma and my uncle. My grandma has passed on. My uncle's still here. He's incarcerated. Um, and my mother went on to be with the Lord. But it's like so much of my family memories here from my grandma and my uncle and my mom. We would come and visit. And then when we first moved to Dallas from Atlanta in 99, we stayed with them for about a year. And I went to J.P. Starts. And then we moved out. We moved to DeSoto. And um, then I went to Faith Family for a year. And then we moved to Pleasant Grove. And I stayed over there for about four years. We went to school over there. And then we moved to, like, the Duncanville area. I cannot believe Cedar Glen is still opening. So many memories walking into that office when I was a little with my grandmama. She would go talk to the manager and we would steal some paper towels. She would load up with them paper towels. Oh my gosh. They used to have a little after school program over there in the 90s. I never used to want to go. I never used to like coming outside. I would flip on this rail, but that was it. I was kind of anti-social because I was like, it was different for me because I was, remember, I was used to be in shelter with a, uh, my mom was saved and she didn't curse. And then coming to, you know, back in the 90s, it would be cursing. They would be out there gambling, playing music. But it was full of love and full of family, but it was a different environment. And so for that, I would stay inside because I wasn't used to it. Um, 
but it's so many memories it's so many memories. i just wasn't used to the cursing and stuff like that and then everybody be playing their music at night they would come out there gamble play their music Y'all, I remember Cedar Glen South in the 90s, y'all. I was little. I remember everything. The old people used to play the blues music right in this unit right here. I hated it. Yo, it's so many memories. That's crazy. That playground down there. I used to play on that playground when I was little and watch my uncle play basketball. He was real good, too. They had came to scout him even though he didn't have a GED. They told him, just come play with us and we'll help you get it like the professional people wanted him to play. Oh my gosh. Oh, I seen it. I can't wait to tell my uncle. I can't. Special. Sometimes you got to close an old chapter. You know, I, I was always over there. Um, it's just a lot, a lot of memories, a lot of everything right here in these apartments. And I had to visit it. I had to visit it to know that it's okay to move on and be better, but to not forget your roots, where you come from. This is where my grand my grandmother lived since like 86, had my uncle where he grew up, where my where my mother grew up and went to school um, right up the street at Lincoln. Like these are my roots right here. These are my roots. And you can't forget where you come from or where your family come from. And growing up in Cedar Glen or just being over there all the time has taught me and has made me humble. I don't know if I would have been so humble had not I had a grandmama, you know, right there in the projects and that was loud and country and down to earth like she was. It just keeps me humble and it holds a big part of my heart because like I said, a lot of my childhood, a lot of my memories are right there in Cedar Glen South, right there in the projects, right there in Dallas, Texas. So I had to be. Um, it seemed real nice and quiet right now. It's, it's not too hot outside, not too cold, but it seemed pretty chill over there. Nothing too much going on. Remember, it's not where you come from. It's where you end up at. Stay humble. Keep God first. The sky's the limit. Be blessed. All right, to show y'all some memories, here is my eighth birthday. Me and this, this ghetto fabulousness. And this is inside that apartment I was showing y'all on my 8th birthday. And then that's my mom when she lived over there. That's us years ago before my grandma moved out. And that's me back in the day over there. That's my 8th birthday party. This was in 1999. When we first moved down here, we stayed with my grandma. And that's inside. That was my mom's birthday party when she was like, I guess, 14 or 15. That's me on my 8th birthday party. My cousins came over. That's my mom and my brother. That's my mom outside Cedar Glen. That's me and my grandma outside the church. That's my birthday cake. And my grandma on my eighth birthday party. That's inside that apartment in '99. That's my mother graduating Lincoln in '86. That's her either at Arts or Lincoln. She went to Arts first, then she went to Lincoln. And these other pictures are just gonna be of my mom in high school at Arts Magnet and Lincoln. That was a graduation picture with her and her grandmother. And some of them are when she was younger. This is her and her cousins back in the '80s. Uh, most of these are her back in the 80s in high school, and there's also pictures of her grown when she's at Clark and Gramlin. First she went to Gramlin, she loved Gramlin the most, and she left and went to Clark and eventually had me. That was her and her best friend Teresa on the bed, her and her baby brother at church, her and her best friend and her cousin, that's the cousin in the middle, that's her best friend right there, Teresa, um, that's our cousin head, um, yep. Yeah. These are all pictures of mommy back in the day. That's a pageant she was There's in. That's her and her cousin here. Mercy and peace. Mercy and peace. That's her beetle bug. That's Wait mommy when she was teen. That's her birthday party again. Same curtains. Her at Arts Magnet. Her in college. Gramlin. 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 And, and these are her and her um, pageant. Her and her thespian yeah, sisters and brothers. She was an actor. The Still, he took my sin and my shame. I didn't friend. deserve to That's be rescued. That's Natalie from Maps. Still, he is called me by name. College, Gramlin, family, Gramlin. I don't know what they did. Gramlin, or, it looks like Gramlin. And these are pictures of just my mom in high school and in college all mixed together. Again. I love that picture. That's so I'll eight. Keep my mind. Oh my goodness. Stay. My home was so pretty. It's so many pictures though um, that are not here because we lost some in storage. So many beautiful pictures. That's my mom when she worked downtown and had a neck picture. That was her neck That's my mom. Yeah, it, it gives you a glimpse of what my mom looked like and where I come from. That's my grandma mom. That's my 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 mom. You can't tell she's the yellow one with the hair. Jerry Carroll with a curly hair. Look at this like my mom. My grandma, my grandma, now this is moving into pictures of my grandmother. That's my grandma, my mother, and her boyfriend back in the day, my grandma, and my aunt, my mom and grandma, me and my grandma. Picture of my mom at Arts Magnet, my uncle, and his baby, the mother that my mother loved. 
pictures with my mom throughout the years. And she went from tender only to a slave woman to die. My grandmother, my grandmother, and her son, my uncle, all of us. Uh, my grandmother, her mother, and her sister, my mother. Y'all comment below if you think I look like my mom. Thanks for watching.